I don't really train just when there's a fight coming up. I'm always training like there's a fight coming up. I'm always ready, you know? So like, if you told me I'm fighting in a week, I'm ready to fight in a week, you know? It's just, it's just how I am. Tossing up the blue corner from Staten Island, New York, Harrison, I He want to be the best boxer in the world. I'm ranked number one in the country of boxing. I'm the U.S. national boxing and kickboxing team. Three-time national champion in boxing. Are you winner? We have a problem sometimes finding a, a guys for him to fight. Boxing is just more than a sport to me. It's my life. My name is Aryan. I'm 17 years old and I'm a boxer. I got into boxing and kickboxing when I was about six or seven. That's when I started training with my dad. Arian first got into boxing at age eight. He had that energy. You can see him with other kids, how he was moving. It. The thinking was a little bit different than other kids. Fast! Yeah. We were training two, three times a week, and the rest of the days he trained with the main coach, with Ahmad. I like training him because he always motivated, dedicated, hungry, never give up, and never tired. It's more than just a coach and student relationship. He's always on top of me, he's always making me work, he's always calling me, making sure I'm doing my workouts. He's like my second father to me. Let's go. He's a workaholic, he likes to be in the gym non-stop. <laughs> you know, I do this every day, I do it with passion. I'm not forced to do this, you know, I love what I do every day. I wake up and I'm ready to work. The corona changed his training a lot. Sparring is a very important part of the boxing. Without sparring, you cannot be a good level boxer. It's kind of frustrating, you know, because like I love to fight in the ring. I love getting ready for a fight. Like just the week before, the two weeks before, those hard days of training, you know, all day long. I miss that, you know, it's just, I miss being in the ring. I miss going to these tournaments. You cannot go to your own gym. It's not a good thing. We try every day, you know, talking to people, when it's gonna open. There's not much we can do, just stay ready and wait for the next one. When the quarantine started, we said we cannot go nowhere. So my son said, can we build something outside the house? Me and my dad were like, every gym is closed, so like, why don't we just do something in the backyard? So like, and I brought up the idea, let's make a ring. So we, we got the material together, we got the supplies together, we built the ring and now we have the ring back there so I use it pretty often. And then once I get back I won't feel like that ring rust. Ariane is dedicated, serious and every day he becomes better and better. So these are some of my accomplishments that I've won over the years fighting. These four belts are a World Kickboxing Championship belt. This is my first ever belt that I won. It's my favorite belt. And then here we have the Junior Olympics in New York. This is Junior Olympic Nationals. So uh, this belt I won in December at the U.S. National Boxing Championships. I worked really hard for this belt and it all paid off. When I won, I put me on the U.S. team. Now I'm supposed to be traveling with them. A lot of hard work and dedication got me the belt, so I'm really thankful for this. That's why I did some of the nice frame and stuff. <laughs> and so we moved down here. This plaque I got in Albania. I went one summer and they honored me for my accomplishments in boxing. So they gave me this with the president of Albania. Over here, we got some more trophies, more kickboxing, more boxing. These were just some tournaments I went to, you know, placed, I won. That's most of it. Now in quarantine, I don't know when uh, my next fight's gonna be. I've been working hard every day, you know, I'm trying hard. But whenever the next fight comes, I'm gonna be ready. Make sure to fill this whole wall up. I feel like boxing is more of a, a thinking sport. You know, it's like, a, it's like a chess game. That's what a lot of people refer to. You have to be mentally prepared for boxing, you know, more than just physically strong. So you have to be all around for boxing.
I was in Albanian national team when I was a kid, but, but what he has, his talent, I did not have when I was his age. He got some gift, his natural gift. I see on him. You gotta understand boxing. It's not only you gotta fight the guy. He got that talent, that instinct. That's why I think he is so good. To get into the national team, I had to fight in a tournament this past December. You have to be ranked number one in the country. So I did everything, I made the team, and the team was a great experience. Like when I went to Colorado to train at the camp, all good coaches, all good people, everyone's determined over there, everyone's hardworking. So like when you have hardworking people around you, you only want to work hard yourself. And those days off to me means working hard every day, just staying in the gym, doing what I do best. I see him as future Olympic champion. I tell him, Marianne, everything possible, hard work, Pays up. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be big in this sport one day. I'm seeing going to be a world champion or represent United States in the Olympics. Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> now. <laughs> I have a lot of goals before I go pro. I want to win the Golden Gloves, Nationals. I want to fight internationally for the U.S. I want to go to the Olympic Games at least once, and then after that, I want to go pro and be a world champion. As of now, I'm just staying ready, but once fighting comes back and everything's back to normal, I'm making sure I'm on top of it 100%, you know? I'm bringing my game everywhere I go, and then just fight, do what I do best. Uh, uh -huh. Now a little bit defense. Black of black and slave, dog, dog. Black of black and slave, dog, dog. Say by left, tell it back. Uh, uh, move. Uh, move, move.